Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press and today was a really interesting and fascinating day for all Toyota fans because Toyota introduced a whole series of new products and updated information for 2022 products. And I know what you're thinking, you're probably asking about the Toyota Tundra. Well, while the, uh, the public version of the media reveal is officially finished now, it's mid-morning here in the uh, West Coast, um, the actual press conference at the head office in Texas at Toyota is not finished yet. And so we may uh, still be able to see the Tundra at some point during the day. And also Toyota has said that this media reveal actually will carry on the entire week. So there's a lot more to come this week in addition to what we saw today. So stay tuned, we're not quite finished yet. The only thing is that, that we as media and journalists may be able to see a whole bunch of new products including the 2022 Toyota Tundra, but there may be embargo date, which means that we might be able to see it today um, at some point during the day, but we might not be able to show it to you today. So that's the only caveat to this whole thing. But as we get to see any information that we can review publicly, you'll be the first to see right here in this channel. So, but let me kind of walk you through uh, just a brief updates on what's happening today. And then I'm going to go a little bit more deeper dive onto the truck portion of the media reveal today because there are many, many speculations, rumors, and the information is getting kind of mixed up throughout the YouTube and the media community. And I'm going to set the record straight as an automotive engineer. Once again, today was pretty exciting day, lots and lots of reveals. I'm not gonna go through every single one of them right now because I want to give you a bit of a deeper dive throughout this week. As an automotive engineer, I can share with you things that perhaps that isn't obvious from reading the press release. So today I'm gonna focus on the Tacoma series. As you know, I own a 2021 Tacoma TRD Pro, so I know a lot about that product. So I can share with you things that are perhaps misunderstood or miscommunicated out there right now. So in terms of what they introduced today is kind of what we expected, which is the North American version of the Crawl Across, currently produced in Thailand and other parts of Asia. But we are going to get the version that we built in the Alabama plant, which is the, a joint factory between Mazda and Toyota. And our version will be slightly different from, from the Asian version. So more on that a little bit later on this week. And then also we got to see the North American version of the Toyota GR86 finally with some of the final spec, but not all the spec. Now I have access to the Japanese videos uh, that talks about the difference between the GR86 and the Subaru BRZ or BRZ and what the driving feel might be. So I'm gonna try to talk about that a little bit later this week as well. Uh, and then uh, there's some other stories that you've seen already, which is the a new addition to a Toyota 4Runner, which is the TRD Sport that's already being announced. And then uh, we also heard today, the Supra is getting a special edition in the form of A91 carbon fiber version with uh, an actual carbon fiber trims. Um, you might be aware that I also own a 2020 GR Supra, so I'm excited about that. But no bump up in the horsepower, no performance changes, that's just a cosmetic change. So that was a bit disappointing. Uh, but on the other hand, I'm happy to have the 2020 version of the GR Supra, currently the only version that can be tuned for higher power if you so desire. So, so Supra was introduced, the 4Runner TRD Sport was introduced, the Corolla Cross and the GR86. So those were all the major news. And then they also gave us a little bit more information and insight about what's coming ahead for electric side of things. That is the North American version of the BZ4X or BZ4X, depending on which country you live in. And so a little bit more information on that as well. And there's more to come. There's going to be some more uh, sneak photos and sneak preview of other models throughout the day today, which again, we may not be able to show you right away. So there are also other important dates coming up. June 9th is the official uh, public reveal for the Land Cruiser in Asia and Middle East. Now that one is not coming to North America, so we will not have a public uh, reveal here, 
but you can tune into one of the sites in uh, Middle East or Asia and you can see the Land Cruiser finally on June 9th. I also maintain from my previous videos that June 17th is a likely when the dealers get to see the Tundra, so we've been talking about that for a while. So I suspect that maybe we can get to see the Tundra sometime in coming days, but we might not be able to show it to you for another week or two. I know it's frustrating perhaps, but just hang in tight. It's gonna all happen in June, lots of reveal in June, and also the Lexus NX reveal is coming up soon as well. But for now, let me walk you through about the Tacoma, which includes the new Trail Edition and also the new TRD Pro, and exactly what that means for those of us who love trucks. So first of all, the Trail Edition for 2022 is getting a host of upgrades. And it's pretty exciting because it's bringing it closer and closer to a TRD Pro. Not obviously quite that level yet, but Toyota is equipping it with a whole series of upgrades. Now before I go too far, I just want to clarify that for those of you who are thinking about the new generation Tacoma, that is not coming for at least two more years. We are going to get uh, all new Toyota 4Runner about a year from today, so summer of 2022, but the Tacoma is not going to uh, change until 2023 summer or even the fall, so, uh, so just something to keep in mind. But let me focus on 2022 Trail Edition, which now has this amazing bronze color highlights. So both the wheels and also the Toyota uh, emblem in the front grille has a bronze treatment. And that's actually pretty cool. And not only that, the wheel design is actually different now. It's almost identical to the TRD Pro wheel, which is also new for this year. And, uh, but now it's highlighted with the bronze color. So Toyota decided to just call this a trail edition, not a bronze edition like they did in the Highlander, and it's not a heritage edition, but regardless, we're pretty happy with the final result. And the uh, actual uh, truck is raised uh, quite a bit. So 1.1 inches higher in the front and 0.5 inches in the back. So it is actually higher than the 2021 Tacoma TRD Pro, which only had, or I shouldn't say only, but it had a one inch higher in the front, and no change in the back. Now for 2022, which I'll talk about a little bit later, the TRD Pro does get higher even still. But it's pretty amazing that they've decided to raise it this much. Uh, now keep in mind, this is also misunderstood quite a bit out there. A lot of people think that the Trail Edition now has the two inch lift kit uh, package that is available from Toyota. That isn't the case at all. It's a different package altogether uh, because this is only 1.1 inches higher front and 0.5 inches in the back and the shocks are not Bilstein shocks. So it is actually the same as a regular SR5 shocks and, and therefore it is not the same as TRD Pro and it is not the same as OEM uh, package that you can buy aftermarket. So those are clarification I wanted to make. Now let me get back to wheels, which I really, really love, and I'm digging this uh, color, and it has the, the spelled out name Toyota in kind of a heritage look in the center cap there. And, uh, but the Toyota does say that it is now 0.5 inches wider track. And so what does the wider track mean? So well, it actually just really means that the wheels have a different offset, which is something they've done before with the Forerunner as well. So it has a 0.5 inches uh, wider track due to offset change. So that's something that might be a little bit confusing out there also. Uh, regardless, the wider track will give you a little bit more stable uh, feel. Not that you can actually tell the difference in a normal condition. And again, because it's not using the Bielstein shock and it's using a SR5 shocks, it is actually very street friendly. That particular shock is the same one that's in the Limited, which most people don't know. So it is very comfortable on the highway also. By the way, the reason why Toyota raises the front more than the back is because the front tend to be a little bit higher in most of the Tacomas, and so that levels out uh, basically the look and the feel of the Tacoma. Uh, other changes for the Trail Edition, including removing the front air dam, which always looked weird on the Tacoma, that will improve the approach angle slightly. And uh, we get a skid plate as well, not the same one that in the TRD Pro, it's actually the same one from the off-road uh, version, the TRD off-road. And then, uh, but the tires are interesting, the tires are shared with the Tacoma TRD Pro, uh, that's the uh, Goodyear Territory AT, it's the new tire, it's the same size, and uh, I know a lot of 
people think that this this new tire is more aggressive in terms of off-roading I don't believe so you do see a more of a cosmetic uh, side um, edges on the tire and so there's a little more a little bit more of the aggressive looking pattern on the side of the tire but it's not doing anything to the actual tread that is hitting the ground so my belief is that this tire is actually a little bit more of a comfortable tire better suited for highway and city driving because most Tacoma people do take these trucks for off-roading while not compromising the off-roading capabilities so we will have to wait and see this the territory AT tires are also now standard on the new F-150 so a little bit more feedback will come our way and then hopefully uh, these tires are better than before more importantly, Toyota actually added a standard locking rear differential, which will improve off-roading capability in slower speed. So that's really, really helpful. Uh, and then they added a bunch of other stuff like a lockable storage in the bed, which is not part of the bed. It's added on, and this is the same as the last year's Trail Edition. And the driver's side is actually insulated, so you can use it as a cooler by putting ice packs in there. So that's kind of kind of really nice and uh, cool addition. Uh, there's also 120. 20 volt power outlet in the bed. In terms of color, this gets a little bit exciting because the Lunar Rock color, which we all love and has been very popular on the TRD Pros, is uh, is now available on the Trail Edition. So uh, you can get uh, last year's Lunar Rock color, which is what I have in my TRD Pro, onto this uh, Trail Edition. Uh, in addition to the Army Green, which is the previous year's TRD Pro color, as well as the standard black and the white that we all also liked on the Tacoma. Toyota hasn't compromised the comfort side of the equation. They have uh, added the 10-way power seat on the driver's side, which is really needed on the Tacoma to adjust for height and, and angle and so forth, uh, along with all of the other stuff you already expect from Tacoma, including the 8-inch infotainment system. Uh, no wireless CarPlay, but you do get the standard wired CarPlay and Android Auto. And of course, the rest of the technical features are exactly the same. So we still get the 3.5-liter uh, V6 engine with uh, 278 horsepower and 265 foot-pounds of torque that's all the same the transmission is also the same as last year so all in all I have been very happy with my 2021 Tacoma TRD Pro now as many of you guys know I am thinking of trading up to a 2022 Toyota Tundra I've already placed deposit in two dealerships and so I'm also waiting for that information which we hope will come in the next uh, couple of days possibly even later today because the press conference is still going on and a lot more to come on that so uh, this is part one of many Many parts I'm going to be covering for 2022 Toyota products. So I'm going to finish off here. It's getting pretty long. The next video is going to be on the 2022 Tacoma TRD Pro. And then I'm going to talk about uh, all of the other products, including the GR86 and the Corolla Cross. And hopefully sometime in the next couple of days to a week, we will get uh, full information on the 2022 Tundra, which will, of course, will be covered um, in intensively here in my channel. So that's it for now. Thank you so much. Signing off for now.